Grigor Dimitrov versus Francis Tiafo is the second quarter final for the men's US Open for 2024. Both guys have had different roads to get to the stage. Tiafo entered the tournament as the 20th seed and would take on Kovacevic in the first round, and after dropping the third set, would win in four. 6 4 6 3 4 6 7 5. In the second round, he'd take on Shevchenko, and after winning the first two sets, Shevchenko would be forced to retire, giving Tiafo the win. 6 4 6 1 1 Love retirement. In the third round, he'd take on Ben Shelton, the 13th seed, a man he'd lost to this time last year at the US Open, and this was an epic, with Tiafo losing two of the first three sets and fighting back to win. 4-6-7-5-6-7-6-4-6-3 to get his revenge. In the fourth round, he'd take on Poprin, the 28th seed, who had just beaten Djokovic in the third round. And after fighting back in the second, Tiafo would eventually win in four, 6 4 7 6 2 6 6 3 to advance to the quarterfinals. Mitrov entered the tournament as the number nine seed and would take on the qualifier, Jokoro, in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 3 6 4 6 2. In the second round, he'd take on Hitchikata. And again, no problem getting through in straights. 6 1 6 1 7 6. In the third round, he'd take on Grigspor. And again, no problem for Dimitrov getting through in straights. 6 3 6 Three, six, one. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number six seed Rublev, who had just beaten Lehechka in the previous round. And this was a battle. After winning the first two sets and losing the next two, he'd have to fight back in the fifth, 6 3, 7 6, 1, 6, 3, 6, 6, 3, to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have played four times before, with Dimitrov leading 3 1 in their head to head. However, they've only played once in the last five years. That was at Wimbledon last year, with Dimitrov getting the easy win in straight sets. But their last match of the Grand Slam on hard courts was actually the Australian Open 2019, and it was very, very close. Tiafo getting the win. So, we're really interested to see how Tiafo. Tiafo at home against Dimitrov here will react with the crowd and also the way that he's been playing because he's much better than five years ago. How will he be able to handle Dimitrov? Tiafo's going to win this one. He needs to use the crowd as much as possible. We know that Dimi is loved by most players or most people in the crowds, but this time around, it's not going to be the case. This is going to be a 99% crowd for Tiafo. They know how good he is and they know that he's got a big chance of possibly making the final. So he's going to be getting the crowd. He's going to get them all up. But he also needs to make sure he keeps the energy up for the entire match and not fall asleep like he did in the third set against Popperin. Dimitrov's going to win this one. He probably needs to win the first set just to get the crowd to quiet down. We saw when Popperin started winning, the crowd just completely disappeared. They were all there, but they were just so quiet. It felt like it was empty. So if Dimitrov can get up to a good start, maybe he can take the crowd out of it. And that'll suck the energy out of Tiafo as well, because he kind of needs that crowd to get him motivated as well to win this match. So if he can do that, Dimi might be a chance. Love this matchup. Very random matchup. I consider that, you know, we don't have Djokovic here. We don't have Rublev here, who were the favorites to make it to this quarterfinal. But I'm going to go with Tiafo in this one in five sets. I just think at home, it's just going to be too much. And he's on such a roll at the moment that he's going to beat Dimitrov in an epic five setter. Probably a nice session as well. I'm going to be so excited to watch that one. But let me know in the comments below who's making the semis.